Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to answer to the question which I have been asked many many times, uh, which is as a free-to-play player how I got so many legendary heroes while spending um, like zero dollars in this game. Well, the answer is whenever two new heroes comes out um, in Call of Dragons, uh, one of them is gettable from the Lucky Spins, which is more free-to-play friendly uh, like uh, system to get the legendary hero. And second one is mainly from the Strongest Lord, and everybody knows Strongest Lord is mainly for pay-to-win players. And um, as a free-to-play player, you should not even uh, spend any speed-ups or extra things to compete there because you will just lose. Today we are going to speak about uh, lucky spins. Uh, in this game there is two um, types of lucky spins. One is direct one uh, and the second one is choice. Uh, whenever new hero comes out in this game uh, we all always have direct one. Like for example newest hero is Bertrand uh, which is gettable through lucky spins. Uh, like whenever new hero comes out uh, there is one direct one we, where you just can't change it like whichever hero's lucky spins is that you yeah, you will be getting the uh, tokens of that hero but um, throughout the season uh, whenever like there is like one or two months uh, already passed you are getting at least once or twice the choice lucky spins where you can actually choose the uh, legendary hero you want to get the spins for example right and you can easily prioritize uh, the legendary heroes you want to invest your gems and everybody understands it for a free to play player to uh, like understand how and when to spend gems is one of the most important now in terms of rewards like it's easy to understand the most um, valuable rewards are here the tokens right and uh, the first uh, choice is always like unlocking the uh, hero if you have already unlocked the hero you will get 10 legendary tokens uh, as as i'm as i remember it's like that 10 legendary tokens whenever you hit this one and of course the one uh, uh, choice uh, legendary token and of course uh, season 2 like g2 uh, like universal token is the most valuable after that like i guess speed ups and uh, like legendary medal and of course resources are one of the worst um, choices here to get now of course whenever you are uh, spinning the lucky spin on a 10 spin you are getting barely like 2000 heroes tokens uh, 25 uh, is like uh, universal tokens to g2 heroes but actually like my maximum have been uh, like 45 uh, uh, besides 45 i have never passed as a free-to-play player that's like and it only happened actually once so now let's speak about the choice uh, lucky spins because that's the question I have basically asked uh, many many times. Uh, like let's see what's the best and what's the worst choices uh, to choose whenever you have a lucky uh, like choice lucky spin uh, on your server. Uh, for example, in my opinion, uh, Nico and Bakshi is the worst choice here simply because these two heroes you can get from the gold keys. And whenever there is a natural choice of getting uh, something valuable in this game, you should not be really, really investing uh, your gems to the heroes which you can freely get, right? Uh, one only exclusion is that uh, if you are close to awakening, for example, Bakshi, and you are missing like 10 tokens, of, of course, that would be your choice. But uh, if you are like thinking of like starting to invest in a legendary hero, like uh, in my opinion, through the choice Lucky Spin, worst choice, will be Bakshi uh, and uh, Nico. Uh, now like uh, let's speak about the correct choices which is uh, like let's speak uh, if you are infantry player if you are marksman uh, if you are mage or like if you are a cavalry player what would be your choice right like it's pretty easy to understand uh, if you are infantry player I think uh, like it depends which kind of other infantry heroes you have currently right if you somehow got lucky at the start of the season Season and you unlocked Goresh and uh, like actually I got really really lucky and I unlocked Goresh on the third spin um, uh, like at the start of the season of course if you have Goresh your main then you are playing as an infantry your main uh, opinion and main point view will be that you are going to select Sk Skogul right because Goresh and Skogul is the best infantry hero pair in the game 
Uh, let's say you don't have uh, like uh, Goresh and you have like Nika, which is uh, on a good level, it's like at least 5-5-5-3 five, five, uh, five, or something like that, like that, because you got sometimes really lucky and uh, you get double uh, 10 pulls on the gold keys and Nika is gettable on the gold key, right? Uh, or maybe like you are player of the infantry and you like you have been investing your tokens on uh, Madeline and you are close to awakening Madeline, you will be picking Madeline at that, at that point. But of course, the most valuable for the infantry player would be to have uh, like, uh, like Goresh and then going on Skolgul. Uh, in terms of cavalry, well, like for the cavalry, it's easy to understand. Uh, Forondil would be the choice, as I said. But Bakshi is simply the Bakshi and Nico is simply the worst choices here. Uh, but of course, uh, Forondil is the number one choice through this choice if you are cavalry player. Uh, but uh, if you are close to awakening Bakshi, then uh, just choose Bakshi, awaken him, and next time, whenever the lucky spin will be available for you, uh, you are choosing Forondil to uh, get the spin, the tokens for. The from the spins. Uh, in terms of marksmen, well, here is like uh, two. I think for the marksmen, uh, they're like this lucky spin is like best uh, ways to for getting the tokens because, in my opinion, Kinara and Fregar are all, like both really really good. Uh, it depends on your taste, on your gameplay. Actually, like for example, I have been investing all of my legendary tokens on Kinara. Uh, it's five 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 four, and that's why I have been uh, I have chosen Kinara to uh, like. Uh, we can hurry as soon as possible for the for, for the Fregar actually like in the Fregar is amazing uh, for Syndrion and Fregar playstyle if you have Syndrion then Fregar would be your choice right because that's the uh, best uh, marksman hero pair in the season TI for example uh, but like it's the, totally on your gameplay uh, like whatever you will decide in terms of marksman Kinara and Fregar both are amazing options and of course always whenever there is a like choice lucky spin uh you have one newest hero right if you like for example if i was not so close to awakening kinara i would have been gone to uh, bertrand because like generally you want to have at least unlock every single hero in this game uh, simply because you never know what kind of hero pair you can make in the future uh, and also like every season a couple of new heroes appear in this game and as a free-to-play player you want to have at least all the free-to-play accessible heroes like for example everybody knows that uh, Lilia is paid to win uh, Doha Hosk is paid to win, uh, Theodore is also paid to win, uh, Doha is paid to win, and uh, like only free to play accessible uh, through the gameplay a hero is Bertrand. That's why, uh, like, if you like can't decide and you don't want uh, Skolgul, you don't want Warondil, Fregar, these are the worst choices. Kinara, then you are going to get the newest hero, uh, and generally the game goes like this for heroes that whenever new hero appears in the game, that hero is basically the better than uh, like any other heroes and actually it's normal uh, to have newest heroes uh, the most exciting ones and most good ones because uh, if uh, like developers of the game uh, uh, like gave us new heroes and they are bad uh, nobody would be excited nobody would want to unlock them because everybody would still use the old ones right and game needs to progress uh, we actually need more and more heroes uh, and um, like more factions uh, like actually that's another one i'm excited for so like i think i answered the most important questions about like how you can get heroes in call of dragons uh, we will basically lucky spins are the most uh, a good way of getting uh, heroes in terms of events but basically like uh, of course for a most friendly a free to play friendly uh, way of getting uh, tokens is uh, gold chests right but like today we were like i have been asked uh, many different times why how when well this is the answer i hope uh, this video will help you to navigate in terms of gems uh, because like if you are marksman players try to choose marksman heroes if you are mages try to choose mages and like understand what's your play style and uh, uh, from your play style uh, you can easily choose which kind of heroes you can uh, get uh, my main advice is always about uh, 
uh, getting a main legion type as a free to play player because uh, that way you have you you will have at least one or two good uh, uh, like uh, hero pairs which you can fight and get merits in this game like i'm a marksman main uh, somehow i managed to get 5.2 million merits in this season fighting mainly tier 5 players so like this uh, experience which i get from the game that's the type of videos i'm trying to make uh, thanks for watching i hope you guys are having a amazing day morning uh, and night wherever you are uh, if you like the video uh, press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this amazing game uh, thanks for watching uh, I'm, I'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye and good luck